um, okay, so you have to be at the edge of the atmosphere, which is about 100 kilometers out. Then you point your ship straight down. You set up coupled modes and set your stopwatch to about 1 minute and 30 seconds. I'll explain in a moment why. Press start. Then you tab out and play a game that actually has a flight model. This is High Fleet. It has a really cool landing mini game. First, I'm going to show you what happens if, if you are not paying attention to how to land correctly in this game. It's really amazing. You fall from the sky. See on the left, that's meters per second. If I'm spending too much time free falling, the thrusters won't be able to, to catch the fall, and they overheat and fail. And you're crashing them. Okay, let's try this again. Notice here, this is fun, it's very physical, it's it's beautiful visually, and it's engaging. You're engaged in the moment, you're not bored, you don't waiting, you're not waiting for it to be over. It, it's it's really great. And now I'm pressing coupled again. And if I don't like the landing zone, because the game does not have a flight model, I can take a look. What if there's somebody hiding behind that rock? I can just scoot over. Get really close to the ground. Look at the grass if I, if I don't like the landing zone. As you can see, there's no flight model. And some people say that flight model in Star Citizen is a happy medium between um, casual and realistic, but there is no flight model. Ships are basically just wobbling around like in zero G, except with a bit more drag. Notice here. And letting go of the controls. I can do this in any direction I want. And to make it even worse, if I want to write a post about how bad a flight model is, how non-existent it is, I can do that with Windows full screen while my ship is rolling without me controlling it close to the ground. 